Hi, welcome to my channel. Do you want to see how I made this absolutely gorgeous tropical cake stand? Well, then stick around and come join me in my studio and I'll show you just how I made it. going to make a cake stand. Yes! So we've got, uh, let me move this out of the way, my pebbles. So I ordered these off Amazon. They came with no instructions. So it's going to be a three-tier cake stand and I will figure out how to put this together. I don't think it's going to be rocket science. Um, I think, I think I can work that out. And here's a suggestion for you. What I was going to do was take a glue gun. Obviously, they've got to be in three different sizes. I was going to take a glue gun to give me um, a guide for the three different sizes, for the three different tiers. But what I've, so you could do it that way. And then once the first layer has set, you could then just peel off the glue and then layer it up. But I've decided to wing it. I'm going to create my first um, layer, just kind of freehand. Um, I'm going to place my pebbles and shells just kind of randomly in, and they don't have to be perfect circles. This is, you know, obviously very organic. And um, I'm good about that. So here it goes. And I will just dribble some resin on. Obviously the resin I'm using is my go-to resin, Naked Fusion, one to one ratio by volume. And I'm using their Lux, Lux Mica Pigments. I'm gonna use, because it's ocean themed. Oh, that's sticky. That means my gun's sticky. I'm gonna use their Ghost Blue, their Jewel Blue, and the slate silver. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to mix a very like tiny amount in. Um, if you mix a lot in, they can be really opaque. They're absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And there are discount codes below this video. So I encourage you to take advantage of the discount codes so you can try out their resins. And they have just come out with a um, deep resin, deep setting resin. So for like castings, and I'm going to be doing a um, body casting soon coming up so keep an eye out for that one and um, that should be interesting I've actually done a lot of body castings in the past I took a whole course of it actually in college in my art school and I used to do body castings of parts of people's, different parts of people's bodies. And um, I actually haven't done that for a while, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So I'm gonna fast forward through this bit. This is my, gonna be my biggest part of my cake stand. And um, I've got my shells, my little pebbles. So once I've done my three circles, I will come back and then we will add the resin.
three um, layers of my stand. Could be a cake stand. Could be a oh, you know what? Be really nice. Be a really nice sushi stand with all those shells. And what I did was I kind of measured. God, do I have any alcohol left? Um, this is this one's around nine inches ish. This one's around seven inches. This one's around five inches. Looks a little shallow on this side. Um, that cake stand looks quite flimsy. So I'm hoping it's strong enough. Oh, I don't have any starfish on this level. I obviously have to because it's the top one. Put some tiny weeny starfish on the top. Don't need many. Um, I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to dribble some resin around. Sorry, I really hope my big head's not in the way. Especially with my very unflattering glasses because I lost. Well, actually, no, my prescription glasses are broken. And I had a new eye test. I wanted to have LASIK, and apparently, I'm not a candidate, which is very upsetting. So I'm just going to wipe the inside of this because I've got lots of shell dust. Not that it matters because that's going to be underneath and you won't really see it. But anyway, I'm going to do it. Okay. So those are done. I don't know what that is. I have I'm move my resins mixed. I'm just going to move that back, my cake stand back. I'm going to go around and just dribble clear resin over the shells first. And what I'll have to do tomorrow is for sure come back and cut off some flashing. So I'm only going to use a tiny bit. Oh, that was a bit more than a tiny bit. Alright, let's use tinier bits for the others, especially the slate silver. I'm literally going to use nano. Nano amount for slate silver. really is nano amount. Let's see what happens with nano amounts. Oh yeah, it does go kind of transparent. I can always add more. Oh, I kind of like that. You have to mix it well though so you don't get the powdery element showing through. I'll let that sit for a while. Let me mix in my blue. So I did add less of the blue. So it is a little bit translucent. The ghost blue. Now, let me add a little bit more of this because I like its trickery. And in each set of powders, you get 50 different colors. And in each set of 50, which there's a discount, um, there are five ghost powders. And the ghosts are, they're similar to acrylic um, color changing colors. So in different lights, you'll catch them and they'll be pearly and then the sun will hit them and then you'll see kind of a blue tint. So we'll have to see what happens here. That starfish trying to swim away. Stay there. 
All right. So, I'm going to try, let's do the big one first. Oh, no, what's going to happen? When these are dry and we will drill some holes in the middle and put the cake stand together. These came out pretty well. I'm happy with them. I trimmed off the flashing. Um, this one cracked a little bit so I've got some paper behind it. I'm going to put another layer on. The only thing I was a little disappointed with was <sighs> If you can see, like on a white background, they look okay. But when you hold them up, the ghost blue looks wonderful in certain lights, but then in other lights, it looks kind of yellow. So what I've decided to do was do them a little more opaque and more ocean colors. So I've mixed here ocean in the pigment powders. I have... Bermuda Blue and Tropical Sea. So I'm gently going to just do the edges because I don't want this creeping through the shells. So I'm just going to do that very gently. And I'll use my heat gun once I've done this. So I think I'll speed this up in areas for you. finished they're all slightly different now I'm going to use my heat gun on a low setting okay so um, these are pretty much finished let's check I've got all the air bubbles the heat gun pretty much there's a few left in there so the next step is when these are dry, we'll drink, drill the holes and put the cake stands in. My cake stand tiers are finished. So, and I think I figured out how this goes together. So now I've got to just figure out where the center is of each piece. And then I will take it into my yucky, dirty outdoor um studio let's check that with so i'm gonna eyeball it much better eyeballing these things yep Yep, I told you. Um, I don't know why, it's when I hang pictures, I always get it spot on. And also depends because they're uneven, so it's not going to look like three exactly round plates. So, 
the middle of this is, I would say, here. Yep. 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 See? I don't know why. It's just a skill. Okay, this one. Let's see if I can do the hat trick. Okay. Yes. Yes. So this might be off. No, it's not. I did it. Okay, now let me go and drill. So what I'm going to have to do is take one of these because that's the width of the hole that I'm going to need. So I will be back once I've drilled the holes. Back from my messy, messy studio, which is even messier right now because we're having a clear out. So just let me wipe all the dust off the back. I used a Dremel with a small drill bit and then got bigger so and then took this into the garage with me all right so i know that goes on like that and this one goes like this I've got lots of ideas for these. So, oh, I've got no grip. It's still really cold here. That's my top tier. I really have no grip. What a weakling. And then my middle tier, which again has to have one of these and let me take let me take the bottom one off that's really odd oh well i'm sure it will make sense so that goes like that and then that goes that goes like that and then this goes like oh gosh now you know what it's going to be easier if i do this that goes like that and this goes like that. And then this goes like that. Yes. So there's two tiers. Still dusty from the drilling. And now I need a screwdriver for this. Maybe it just stands on that bottom screw. We shall see. Come on, you went in the other way. I don't like dust. That goes like that. That goes like that. This screws in like this. Okay. 
I'm going to have to put some rubber gloves on to make it tighten. And there it is. It does stand. But I need to tighten this. How fabulous. And I guess I can move this around. There we go. Because all the plates are slightly different to get the balance. Yay! I am so, so happy with that. I'm going to bring you down for a better look. studio. This is just in my messy studio, but I'll bring you down for a closer look. It is so pretty. Now I'm going to try and find another place to show you in better light. And here we are in high tea mode. We have the food on, yummies at the bottom in the middle and some macarons at the top so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did click like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next vid bye